This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday, the 11th of December. I'm James Spann. Nice to see some 50s around here today. However, we turn colder tomorrow and the weather goes wet as the weekend arrives. Let's check out some of the Skycam shots. We'll look out the window. We'll start with our Skycam at Chiha State Park. Lots of sunshine there through scattered high clouds. Very similar scene from the Skycam at Parrish, one of our Walker County Skycams south of Jasper. Some scattered high clouds and a blue sky kind of day at Fultondale, just north of Birmingham at the Walker Chapel Road exit off I-65. Yeah, we got some 50s on the board today. Feels pretty good. Not where we should be, but we're getting closer. Highs typically would be in the upper 50s this time of the year. Birmingham at 53, still 47 at mid-afternoon up in the Shoals and at Decatur. And around the nation, you can see that new surge of cold air coming down the highway. Uh, temperatures are below zero at mid-afternoon over most of Minnesota, Wisconsin, the Dakotas, and that's going to knock our highs back into the 40s tomorrow. Wind chill advisories in effect up in that cold air. All of Wisconsin, some of the adjacent states, Chicago involved in that brutally cold air for so early in the season. And, you know, we're thankful we're just kind of catching the edge of these uh, air masses. Here's the rain for the next five days. This is suggesting rain amounts of about one inch. This is the rain valid through Monday evening of next week, and almost all of that will come during the day Saturday. Let's take a look at modeling. This is the GFS, the 12Z run, valid at noon tomorrow. Troughing is uh, to the northeast of here, and in the wake of that, the day will be colder. The uh, NAM is printing a high of 45, and that sounds about right. We figure mid to upper 40s in most spots, but the sky will be bright and sunny. We'll start the day in the 20s. Friday, again, a cold morning with lows in the 20s, but we'll see low to mid 50s Friday afternoon, somewhere between 50 and 55. We note rain breaks out to the west with that next wave over parts of Arkansas, Missouri, eastern Texas. And Saturday, there's your rain. Very consistent in modeling. Uh, rain coming in here throughout the day. Uh, the surface low, a broad low, is right over us. So uh, uh, any thunderstorms more than likely would be down in the Gulf. There might be some thunder somewhere uh, mainly, mainly over South Alabama, but no severe weather. Uh, in terms of the timing, we figure the rain could begin after midnight Friday night, sometime between midnight and 6. Of course, the question is, when's it going to stop? Uh, a lot of folks are asking that. Let's take a look at some of the uh, close-in maps here. This is the European. This is 6 o'clock Saturday evening. It's got the back edge of the rain roughly along Interstate 59 uh, at 6 o'clock. So the model's a tad slower on this run. This is the NAM, North American Mesoscale model, 6 o'clock Saturday. Very similar, maybe a bit faster than the European. Uh, we still figure the main window for rain about 3 a.m. until 3 p.m. Saturday. But if you're south and east of Birmingham, the rain could linger a little after 3 o'clock. Again, rain amounts about one-half to one inch. No flooding, no severe weather. This is Sunday. In the wake of that wave, uh, again, our friends up in the northeast will be uh, watching that low, again, it's got it east of Cape Cod, the main effects east of New England. Thank goodness for them. But around here, Sunday will be breezy, cold, and dry. The sky mostly sunny. The high, I'd say mid to upper 40s. The latest uh, GFS printing a high of 47. Be kind of a raw and windy day. Monday, we'll start the day in the 20s. The high will be in the 50s. This is Tuesday. And this is Wednesday. Those uh, two days should be very uh, seasonal. 50s during the day, 30s early in the morning, maybe 20s, and uh, uh, lots of sun, no rain. A lot of the interest is toward the end of the forecast, out there toward Christmas time, the most marvelous time of the year. So let's take a look. Uh, well, guess what? The cold air is back. You know, it's been kind of off and on, but the idea of an Arctic blast around Christmas has very good uh, credibility, I think. This is the... Uh, output of the GFS valid uh, Sunday evening, December 23rd. Got a big rain event here. Uh, they're suggesting rain amounts could go over one inch. Um, and you can see very cold air coming in behind that. We'll go to uh, Christmas Day, December 25th. That's a 1,041 millibar high over South Dakota. Weather will be cold and dry. And uh, this is the end of the forecast on the 27th of December. And, man, those these are anomalies, understand, uh, uh, and that is really, really big-time cold. I mean, some of the anomalies are, are, are 50 degrees below average uh, through parts of the Midwest and up in the northern Plain states. And uh, we're, we're in the cold air, not as severely as some of the fr our friends up north, but still uh, the idea of a big cold shot looks credible. And, of course, some of the other things, watch the teleconnections. This is the Arctic Oscillation. And, uh, again, note the GFS wants to bring it down toward 
uh, neutral or negative territory out there toward the end of the month. And this is only an eight-day forecast, but you can clearly see the trend uh, in that it's uh, headed down. And if the AO goes negative, that tends to open up the door for cold air to move into the United States. The other thing you want to watch is the North Atlantic Oscillation. When that goes negative, that tends to flood the eastern U.S. with a cold. And uh, it's having a hard time. The NAO is still uh, in positive territory, and that can be kind of tricky. It can clearly be very cold here with a positive NAO, but the air can be very shallow, and that can open the door to mischief. So uh, it looks like it'll be very interesting uh, toward the end of this month, and we will be watching with great interest. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. Next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can, catch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream or the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening, and God bless.